everyone, I hope you saw my previous video in which I made an acrylic resin Yoda painting. In that video you could see how I mix my paint for an acrylic ribbon pour. So in this video I'm going to use my leftover paint on some wooden coasters. So I'm also going to use the ribbon technique for that. So I hope you enjoy watching my video and will hopefully give me a thumbs up for it. So I already started with pouring the paint into another paper cup. I'm pouring them on top of each other. And what I mentioned, I'm using my leftover paint and uh, from a previous video in some nice colors. So the colors that I'm using are Titanium White from Amsterdam, Amsterdam Lamp Black, uh, Windsor & Newton Pale Terracotta, Pale Violet and Burnt Cyana, and I'm also using an Amsterdam Copper. All those colors I pour into three paper cups. There you can see it on top of each other. And this mix is... Um, thicker than warm honey because I want to create some nice lines what I also did in my previous video but now I'm going to um, do this technique on six wooden coasters and these coasters are 10 by 10 so nice size for a coaster and as you can see the colors don't blend with each other because they are thicker And the mix I use is a PVA glue, um, a gloss varnish, paint of course, and water. And I made it uh, a little bit thicker as warm honey. So the cups are done. And now I'm going to first pour a base layer. And I'm going to use black. And this is the Amsterdam lamp black and about the consistency um, the base layer should be a little bit thinner than the colors it should leave a trace for about one second and the colors about two seconds but you can also see that in my previous video I will include the link in the right corner there you can see how I mix a few colors. Also in this video you can see how I add lines, because I want to add some details. And how I add a resin layer, and of course you can see the end result. And as you can see I have a lot of air bubbles. But I also had that in my previous video. But yeah, after I poured, uh, poured the ribbons, I don't want to use my torch because then you get the dots. And I don't like that. And the acrylic resin geode painting also dried very well. So this time I'm also going to not going to use my torch. All the supplies that I use in this video you can find at the end of the video but also in the description box and I always add a link to the website so if you're curious check out the description box. So now I can use my torch because I didn't pour the ribbons. After I pour the ribbons, I don't want to use my torch because of those dots. So now I'm going to pour the first ribbon. There you can see it. 
And I really love these colors. They're very nice. So that's the first ribbon. And now my second ribbon. And I'm going to pour them over each other to create hopefully a little uh, a bit of depth. And my last ribbon. Also in my previous video I'm uh, explaining uh, the importance of transparent colors and opaque colors that you, um, yeah, I always use them together because if you use those uh, different paints together then you can create some nice effects. Now go to tilt some paint off because there is too much paint on the coaster and I don't want it to crack during drying. Yeah, you can see it. A lot of paint. Yeah, I was so pleased with my uh, acrylic resin geoda painting. I like to combine uh, resin and uh, acrylic together to create uh, a nice painting. Still not satisfied with the design, so I tilt that paint off. But the colors are very nice, they are very vibrant. So if you want to know the mix of these paints, then you yeah, have to watch my previous video. And you can use any PVA glue uh, you have. Doesn't have to be a specific uh, brand. So I'm done with the coasters. I let this dry and then I will add some lines. So this is a close up right after pouring. Then you can see up close how they look and how the colors are. I think it looks nice. And I'm not looking for cells or lacing. I want nice straight lines. And I didn't use any silicon so I don't have to clean them after they are dry. Because if you use uh, silicon then you have to clean uh, the coasters, the surface. So we are three weeks later because they need to be totally dry before I can add lines and resin 
And I'm starting with a glitter line. I already did four coasters, but I'm going to show you two coasters that I need to do. So I'm starting with a glitter line, and this is a nice purple color. And um, it's a Viva Decor glitter pen. Now I'm using a PBO outliner in a very nice uh, pearl white color. And they have a 3D effect. Then yeah, a close up at the end of this video, you can see the lines much better. I can see it. Yeah, I always let my acrylic paintings uh, dry for at least three weeks because then I know uh, that they are t uh, completely dry and um, otherwise I can't add resin on top of uh, acrylic paint. And I didn't use silicon so I didn't uh, have to clean it. If you use silicon then you have to clean it with uh, this soap and a little bit of water several times. Because if you leave that silicon on the surface, then the resin will not adhere to that place. You will get the uh, uh, dry spots and that's not nice. Also some acrylic lines in a white color and I'm using a Posca marker. I like to work with these Posca markers also on top of resin for uh, my geodes. And another PBO outliner, but then in a gold color. And during drying, I got some uh, nice effects in the ribbons. It looks a little bit uh, like lacing. But I think they look nice. And if I pour resin on top of acrylic paint, the colors will get much more vibrant. Just as you could see in my uh, acrylic resin geode painting. Again, a gold line. A glitter line. And you can buy different tips for these pens. I'm using a very fine tip. And I always like this part of uh, of an art piece because then you can add some details So I'm almost done with the lines. I need to let this dry and then I will add a resin layer. So the lines are dry. Now I'm going to add a resin layer. I taped the other side of the coaster. Then I can remove the resin drips much easier. And I'm using the Art Pro resin from Resin Pro. It's a medium viscosity resin. I like to work with this resin. Great quality and a good price. So 
And you can use it on top of acrylic, but also in a silicone mold. Spreading it with my stirring stick, there you can see it, and the gardens get much more vibrant if you add resin, there you can see it. And I let it flow over the sides. I make sure that every spot is covered with resin. So I'm almost done with the resin layer. This needs to dry for at least 24 hours. And then I will show you all a, a close-up. The torch to remove air bubbles. So this is the end result, the resin is dry, and I think they look amazing. I love those uh, lines I added, especially the pearl white line, it's amazing, it sparkles a lot, and the colors are, yeah, I, I love these colors together. Yeah, they match perfectly with my uh, acrylic resin uh, geode painting. So let me know what you think of my uh, coasters. I would really like to know it. A little bit closer there, you can see some uh, effects in the ribbons. It looks like they're lacing, but not totally. But I think it looks great. So all the supplies I used in this video you can find below this video. And uh, don't forget uh, my promo codes. I have a lot now with some nice discounts. They are also in the description below this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and will give me a thumbs up for it. And uh, I want to thank you all for watching again. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!